Since full-time RVers don't have a fixed home base, how can we develop a trusted long-term relationship with a local RV shop? Like many long-term full-timers, we figured out some of our favorite destinations and visit many of them regularly. We visit British Columbia's Lower Mainland fairly often, so we've been looking for a shop we can depend on whenever we're in the area. Last year, we had some work done at First Truck Center outside Vancouver, BC, and had a very good experience. So when we found out they were opening a brand new location in Abbotsford, not far from where we often stay during the summer, we made an appointment. If you're wondering why we'd go to a truck service center, it's because most of the chassis components on a diesel pusher are the same as on big trucks. So lots of them, including First Truck Center, service motorhomes too, and many service gas rigs as well. The facility is so new they hadn't even had their grand opening yet, so everything is immaculate. We spent the night, both before and after our appointment, right here in their lot. First thing in the morning, we headed inside to get checked in with a service advisor. As you'd expect in Canada, everyone is incredibly friendly. We reviewed everything that we'd be having done to be sure we're all on the same page. Oil change, motorhome lube service, uh, includes your fuel filters, your coolant levels, checking your belts and grease. We've also requested a coolant flush, um, checking the ride heights. Oh, and you got those specs okay? Oh, let's check that. That'd be great. Since full-timers usually spend their day in the waiting room, a clean, comfortable environment with free coffee and Wi-Fi, good workspace, and a TV is a big plus. Any truck facility that also caters to RVers knows that our homes need special protection. Standard procedure is to cover floors and carpets and to protect the driver's seat too. Besides checking fluids the traditional way, our technician also runs the transmission through a diagnostic routine that reports the level digitally, confirming it's okay. Then it's time to bring the RV inside. One of the things that keeps the shop cleaner and more accessible is the lack of old-fashioned pits. These modern lifts make it easy to access everything from floor level. But since the Abbotsford location is so new, they haven't yet received the two extra lifts that are required to raise our tag axle RV. So our rig will have to wait until our next visit for its first time up in the air. It's not a problem though, as everything that needs to be done can be taken care of on creepers with the RV on the floor in this bay. We're having the following routine maintenance done. Changing the oil and filter, which is easier with this giant rolling oil pan. Our tech punctures the old filter with a large screwdriver to drain the oil before removing it with a special extended strap wrench. After lubricating the gasket, he uses the same wrench to snug the new filter into place and then tightens it with the traditional filter wrench. Then the oil drain plug goes back in and gets carefully tightened to the correct spec with a torque wrench. Now it's time to add oil. and more oil and even more oil our engine holds almost 30 quarts after a check of the dipstick it's time to start the engine and check for oil pressure the level will get confirmed again later as a final check next up are the fuel filters and the air dryer They'll replace both the 2 micron fuel filter and the 10 micron fuel water separator. Unlike the last shop that serviced our rig, First Truck installed the same Fleet Guard OEM filters that originally came on our Cummins engine, which we prefer. And of course, when it comes to the air dryer, they use the exact same Meritor Wabco replacement we've always had. 
One of the dirtiest jobs of all is lubing the chassis. Lots of the grease fittings are hard to find and even harder to reach. There are so many that it's a challenge to be sure they've all been greased, unless you know what you're doing. And of course, having the right tool for the job makes it a lot easier too. When those other two lifts arrive, we bet the techs will be really happy the next time a tag axle motorhome pulls in for service. At least the smooth concrete floor makes rolling around on creepers easier, but on our next visit, we'll look forward to seeing our rig up in the air. We're also getting our ride height checked. This is a crucial adjustment on any RV with air suspension that has to be set to exact factory specs. If the height isn't correct, it can do serious damage to the driveline. Having professional eyes on this can uncover things like these worn out bushings on the ride height control rod. The tech replaced them with new ones, then adjusted the ride height to protect our expensive drivetrain. It was also time to replace the coolant after running a cleaning solution through the system. Repeated thorough flushings clear out all of the old coolant. We'd always used the green coolant, figuring that what Cummins originally put into the engine was the best thing for it. But we always talk about how we keep learning, and the technician taught us that coolant technology has improved since our RV was built 13 years ago. Red OAT coolant protects better, lasts longer, and actually costs less. As part of the overall inspection, they check the belts and tensioners, the wheel seals, suspension and steering linkage, the torque on the charge air cooler clamps, and evaluate the overall condition, health, and safety of the entire chassis. The next morning, the shop was closed for the grand opening ceremony. Customers, employees, and invited guests gathered to celebrate the official opening of the newest First Truck Center facility. They also had an array of beautiful new Freightliner trucks on display. We stayed for the ribbon cutting followed by a buffet brunch. The timing of our second experience with First Truck Center was perfect. If you're wondering why we handle some maintenance tasks ourselves and not others, part two will explain exactly how and why we decide which things to leave to the pros, which ones we'll tackle, and which can go either way. We'll even share a problem that First Truck found during this visit that we wouldn't likely have discovered if we'd done all this work ourselves. It could have led to a breakdown on the side of the road, or worse yet, a fire. Be sure to check out our next video for complete details about what happened. If you have plans to RV in beautiful British Columbia, or near one of First Truck Center's Alberta locations, consider getting your rig serviced here. The favorable exchange rate makes having work done in Canada cost less than it seems. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications. A special thanks to everyone who's joined us on Patreon, including a super thanks to the supporters listed here in the credits. Their participation helps make these videos possible and also provides them with special access to our premium content. We hope you'll join us there too. Be sure to check out RV Maintenance Part 2 in our next video. As always, safe travels and thanks for watching.